Hello, welcome to another interesting moment that we are talking about news from the camp of the Black Stars. I had promised in the last episode that before every Black Stars game, I will nose into the team and at least get you some inside information. Today, we are coming here with interesting stories about what has been happening in relation to what Milovan Rivers wants to do in the team's second group game against Gabon on a Friday evening. Well, we've picked a lot of ins uh, inside stories from the team, how they want to line up, how they want to structure, how they want to approach the game. Well, before we give you details of all that, first, let's hear from Milovan Rivage, who has been speaking about the pressure managing the Black Stars and also uh, his commitment to ensuring that the team will be ready to compete against the best in this co continent. According to him, at the end of the tournament, Thomas Partey will be the best player. Normalno da kad imate tri boda da ste psihički rastrećeni, ali normalno da i mi želimo da da osvojimo prva tri boda. After the first match, you know the situation is like that, as you said, Gabon has three points. We are still without any points, but you know next match, you know we have opportunity to uh, win first three points for us. So we are concentrated. We our state of mind is excellent we have faith in our abilities so we are preparing well and the boys are raring to go and ready to deliver we are doing everything in our power to make this happen so so um there is always a pressure but you know coaches are used to live and work with the pressure because every next match is the most important you know uh, we still have two matches to play in our group, so we are thinking about the next one, Gabon match. This is the most uh, important match for us at the moment. And we are trying to uh, put the, to channel this pressure into a positive performance. You know, we analyzed the match the following day and you know, I was pretty happy with most of the aspects of the game as my players um, did, you know. Um, of course, you learn from every match and, you know, we are trying to uh, improve those things in order to improve the level of the performance of your team. So we are growing and that's good. Uh, Thomas Party, maybe this, this match performance was not at his level, but definitely he's a great player and he will prove everybody uh, in the next matches that he can, he can um, play fantastically and he can uh, really contribute the team and I hope he will he will be the best player in this tournament. From Milovan Rajvaj, let's hear from Richman Boachi, one of the players who have been censured by football fans. They claim that he's not up to the task of leading the line of the Black Stars and some even mentioned that Asamojan has been Ghana's best striker of all time. And a player like Richman Boachi, is not a perfect replacement for him. But Biadom says that before even anyone can do half of what Asamojan has done in the colors of the Black Stars, you must be very consistent. He also asks that players must be willing to accept criticism when they underperform. To, to, get, or to get to the level or half of what Asamojan did, you need consistency in the national team, as he had. And there has to be a belief. You have to believe in the national team Everybody who supports any national team has to give the team the support because you don't use one day to just improve on something. It needs time. And when you give us the time and you focus on uh, three, four strikers and you keep them and you begin to work on them, I think what he did, at least we may not be able to get to where he did, but we may be able to do half of it. All that I ask from everybody who supports the national team to always believe in the, their team and their country and be able to give positive things towards the players so that they can work hard to achieve what others did. It's not everybody who read a comment on the media that can take it. For me, if I read something, I can take it. But there are some players, their spirit is different. When they find something, they go down and it kills them. So for me, to be compared with such a player like a Samojan is an honor. But I'm still young. I still have more time to work on myself. All that I ask is for everybody to give the belief and the support and we will work to achieve something for the nation. It's, it's our duty to take criticism. 
Milovan Raivaj and Richman Buache Iyadom can only be optimistic of what they can do for Ghana. But for Anthony Bafo, a former defender of the team, he says that there's no room to have a bad day. According to him, Gabon must fall. No questions about that. Um, some might not know me. Some know me. Um, you see us all standing here, Richard Kingston. So I'm just from the stadium. I watch Cameroon play. Guys, tomorrow is a do or die. That doesn't exist. It's do or do. Please put that in your heads. Let the people talk. I remember your speech in the dressing room. Let the journalists write whatever they want to write. Tomorrow is the D-Day. You see, you must show hunger. Hunger to win. Aubameyang has recovered. I don't know if Abdul Munin, Jonathan Mensah, uh, Jiko, or Daniel Amate is going to play in the center defense. I don't care. From day one, when you move, that, move out of that dressing room, when you go into the tunnel, they must feel you, not smile. It's no more joking. Comos, Gabon. Gabon is going to fall tomorrow. Gabon is going to fall tomorrow. It's in your hand. And I know, I know, I know what you are made of. Thomas. I tell you guys, African Cups, that's where you make your name. In African Cups, that's where we become timeless. There were greater players than me. They are here. When I speak to the young ones like Stephen Appiah, Essen, you know what they remember about me? They remember my first match when I had the flag in my hand. That is what they remember. I played with this man's father. I was his roommate. I adored him. When somebody kicked him, the next time, the next guy was coming, I, was, I kicked him. So guys, I'm not going to talk more, coach. I just want you to focus that we are Ghana and we are the black stars of Ghana. Thank you. Well, I haven't heard from Milovan Raivat and Richman Boache Iadom. Now, let's talk about some of the inside stories in the camp of the black stars. Um, information available to the black show in the case that Joseph Pencil, who was arguably one of Ghana's best players against Morocco and almost scored, has been dropped from the lineup. And his place will be taken by Chile. What we understand is that there have been some arguments in, in the technical team in relation as to who should start, who should not start, how they should approach the game. Milovan Rivak is finding it very difficult to drop any of the IU brothers. Though there is a recommendation that one of them should be dropped. And the person who was supposed to be dropped Per what we've picked up is Andre Ayew, but Milo finds it really, really difficult to drop Andre Ayew from the team and has rather sacrificed Joseph Pencil from the lineup. So this is how Ghana is likely to line up, barring any last-minute hitches, barring any unforeseen circumstances. The back line we saw against Morocco, which was uh, Jojo Walakot in post, Daniel Amate, Andy Yadom, Alexander Jiku, and Baraman, they're going to be maintained. If you go upfield, you are going to have Thomas Party and Baba Idrisu being the anchor man. Then on the flanks, we are likely to have Jordan Ayu and Kamal Din Suleimana, plus um, Andre Ayu and um, Chire. So Chire is likely to be the man that is going to play behind the striker. What we, we've picked up is that Andre Ayu is not going to play from the wings. He's going to be the fourth nine of the team for today. So Andre Ayu is going to play the role of a striker. But he's going to be switching with his uh, uh, younger brother, Jordan Ayo. Well, what uh, sources within the team have also told us is that um, the decision to play Andre Ayo as a false now has been questioned by the technical team. But Milovan Rivers, who is paid to make the decisions, who has been told that win the tournament and make $300,000, insists he wants to play uh, Andre Ayo as a false now and he's going to allow him to switch in. I've also had a couple of people reach out to me and ask, when is Kudus going to be in camp? What we understand is that he's likely to be in camp by the close of this weekend. But we cannot report authoritatively whether he will make it because what we are made to understand is that the medical team of Ajax had uh, assured the Ghana FA that after monitoring their player, they are very convinced that he's not in good shape and can play. 
So um, Ajax that has traveled to Portugal for their mid-season camp, they've gone back to the Netherlands. But as to when they will release a player to go and join the Black Stars camp is what we cannot clearly tell. But sources within the team, including technical and management, have told us that they expect him to be part of the team by the end of this weekend. So if he's available by the end of this weekend, it is possible that he could maybe make a cameo in the game against Comoros, which is going to be Lannes, Ghana's last group game. The game against Gabon is the most important game. A win or a draw will give them an opportunity of qualifying to the next stage. What many people don't know about Ghana and Gabon games are that the Black Stars have never beaten Gabon in an African Cup of Nations game. The two teams have met 11 times. Ghana have won five times. They've drawn three and lost three. But when it comes to the history of the African Cup of Nations, Ghana have never beaten Gabon. Hopefully that story changes on Friday when the two teams meet, as many Ghanaians are expecting. From the Ghanaian perspective, they must win. From a Gabonese perspective, they want that history to continue. Whatever transpires, We'll always be here once again to share with you some inside stories. Many of you have been asking me about the bonuses of the Black Stars. I have that story. <coughs> I'm aware of the discussions that had happened even the, before the tournament commenced. But what many people have said is that uh, when you come out with such stories, you're going to destabilize the team and all that. But what I, what I can tell you is that the players are taking between $12,000 to $15,000 bonus. That's what they are going to take. And there's also a qualification bonus. They've also been paid appearance fees of not less than $20,000. Muftar Nabila Abdullah on the Nabila Show. We'll be here again before Ghana's game against Morocco to share with you some inside story. If you do see the Black Stars lineup and it is exactly as reported here, don't forget to tell a friend and another friend that here we provide you the exclusive stories before the world gets to know. We appreciate your company as always.